Hey, you guys. So, I'm Haiti. We are in a room. Um, okay. Longest ride ever. Hold on, let me turn it off. It's a rare ride in my face. That's it. Okay, so yes, we finally made it. It took me, I don't know how many hours it took actually, to be honest. I think it took maybe 50. I don't know. It took me, I got here at 3. I got here at 3, um, like 3, 3 30 on Monday. And I went straight to the hospital. I met with the manager, the OR manager. I also met with the scheduler, I believe, and uh, one of the clerks. And so it was real cool. It was like everybody was friendly. And go figure, when I was on my way here, my manager ended up calling me, letting me know that she had found a um, potential place for me to stay, and it was a reasonable price. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. And so go straight there when I get there she hooked me up with the girl who knew about the spot and this is where we are <laughs> so um the room here let me turn this back up I guess I can show y'all I'll show y'all a view of the room later well not later but I'm gonna turn the camera around so I'll put the clip in but yes guys so if you do decide to travel across the country and I mean, just give yourself enough time. That's the only thing I can really say. It's going to take longer than what you think it's going to take. Just look at, like, okay, so my trip said it was 40 hours. And that was from the east coast of Florida, the northeast coast of Florida, all the way to the San Francisco Bay Area. It said it was, like, 40 hours. And so I dropped Braylon off to his dad and I had to so that mean I had to stop in Texas and so I stopped him I dropped him off in Texas I stayed the night and I got up and I drove the next day and then I mean I ended up getting here I think I stayed the night on the road two nights and then I had two hotels I got a hotel um I, I don't know if I told y'all about the motel seats y'all no more motels no more and I'm just, I can't with it. So now I'm here. I got my, oh, it's on my eye. Um, and it's a house, it's right down the street from my job, y'all. Like, it's literally five minutes away. So pretty here. It's so pretty here. Like, it's, I'm gonna take y'all on. We're gonna explore. I'm a little bit tired, so I've been trying to catch up, and then I gotta get up in the morning. It's, I gotta be doing it six, which is fine because I'm still on Jacksonville time. I'm still on East Coast time, so I'll probably wake up around five anyways. That'll be like eight o'clock our time. And so, um, yeah, I'm kind of really excited to be here, y'all. Like, I know my hair like a mess. I haven't been tying my hair up, y'all. I wouldn't split in my hair on the way coming here. Not really, but I'm gonna get it together. Don't worry about it. <laughs> But yeah, so like I say, I'm in this, it's a really small little town, y'all. It's so cute and like, it's just like a picture. Like, I wish I could just take a picture while well, I can. <laughs> I'm going to take a picture of it and I'm going to show y'all um, maybe this weekend. So I'll be able to get out and explore. I'll probably be done caught up on my sleep. So I'll be ready then with, um, yeah, because I won't be working on the weekends and travelers don't take call and we don't get overtime here. So, well, it's got to be approved, but I'll, I'm cool with no overtime so I can explore and um, I'll bring y'all with me. So be ready. I'm super excited, you guys. Like, it feels like right now I'm in a, like, old movie. Just imagine, like... <laughs> This is gonna sound so crazy. Imagine like you in a movie, right? And it's like in the 40s. And like it's a house and it's women in the house because like, it's two other women here and everybody from like different backgrounds. It's just so dope. Like I'm just really excited to be here right now. And so um, it's funny because like when I tell people here what I do, like if they're like, oh, what do you, what do, you do? Where are you from? And so I'm like, oh, I'm a traveling surgeon. And they're like, what? Where'd you come from? And then that's like, they just be so like intrigued. And so it's real cool. And 
I'm just taking it all in, you guys. Like, I can't even imagine. <clears throat> I couldn't even imagine it being as nice as it was coming here. Now, I'm going to tell y'all, it was scary. I ain't going to lie. The mountains. We don't have mountains in Florida. We don't even got hills, really. Like, so Texas gave me the business, y'all. Like, that was crazy. Texas did hold back a little bit. Like, that road, I felt every mile of it. I felt every second of it. <laughs> and then the the view is, you know, different because you got the rocky light mountain type things. And it, it was pretty for a little while. And I was just like, this is nerve wracking. I thought that I was nerve wracking until so I got like close to North Cal like Central California, North ish. And I'm like driving through. Now it's y'all, it's got snow. We at 4,000 feet elevation. I'm like, what? My poor little truck. I mean, she got us here. I'm gonna get her treated when I get paid because she put in some work to get your girl here. And she gonna be keep she gonna keep putting in some work because these roads ain't nothing nice. Like it's a lot of hills. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's a lot of hills and it's a lot of like bumps and um, potholes and Fast, fast acceleration because for some reason people in California feel like they need to go like 100 miles per hour like dog chill <laughs> we gonna get them or we not because we in traffic anyway like what which one pick one so it's I'm excited though I went and got me some um, Mexican, I got some tacos I was gonna say Mexican food but I got tacos um today was taco Tuesday so they was a dollar and I got some, and then he gave me some chips too. So I got some tacos and some chips for four dollars. So, um, cause I paid for this place, so she did prorate the money. Um, and so I got this one. I want y'all to Google. Just I ain't gonna even tell y'all what I got this room for, but go Google like the rent in this area. This is crazy. Like I can't even, huh? <laughs> Why? <laughs> so. I got it. I caught it lit. Like, I ain't lying. I ain't even mad. So, I'm gonna, um, tomorrow is my first day in the OR, so we're gonna see how that go. It's not a big hospital, I told y'all. We ain't really about that life like that. I mean, I do, I put in work where it's needed it, but I ain't doing all of that 29, 30 rooms. I don't, that's, it's not necessary. You don't get paid more to do that. So, the lesson is to work smarter, not harder. <clears throat> but um, I think they told me it had six rooms. <laughs> we like six rooms, don't we? Um, what else? Oh, I miss my baby, y'all. So, okay, for y'all like single parents, y'all, I went through like a whole meltdown halfway here. Like, the girl was almost back in just Mm-hmm. Sorry, I've been drinking. Too, I mean, I ain't been drinking enough water. And so now my lips feel all dry. And um, I think my body a little bit off. I got all my stuff. Let me see if I can show y'all. I'll show y'all. Oh, here, I can show y'all. So I got my stuff sitting up here. My um, organic. Y'all know it's it. Let's see if I can do that. It's dark on That's my food. So I got. Diatomaceous Earth, um, Bentonite Clay, um, good old fashioned apple cider vinegar, um, I have this, I haven't tried this you guys, sorry my head off to the side, I haven't tried this, but I did see some reviews on it, and so I wanted to get it mm, just because I know I ain't gonna be eating right. I am gonna probably go get a whole bunch of ramen noodles, y'all, just so we clear, or something like that. Like maybe the, the other ones, not the not the noodles in the cup, but like the um, the extra ramen noodles or the ones like with the Asian um, sauce, the Asian um, like fire ones. But and then I'm gonna get some vegetables and fruit that like mix it up with those vegetables. Well, I'm gonna be eating. So I got these pills. These I use so my lips don't get like real cracked and dry. Like these things be giving me 
some problems sometimes. So just help with it. And then like being um sun, they'll get like sunburned or I'll get a cold sore or something. So <laughs> this fight help fight off like that where you need to keep putting car mats on or something medicated like this stuff. And so coming up here, I felt my um lips getting drier, but I think it's because I went and um eating right you know i've been eating on the road so i take that anyways just to help with that and it also helps someone else to um i'll just support your immune health oh and amino acid that's what it was but it i noticed like when i'm in cold places or something like that my lips get real sensitive so i have to protect them i got some chapstick over there put them on. but i'm also taking this micro root this helps me when i get my when i don't eat right because sometimes i be um like stressed i'm the opposite like i'm a non-stressed eater so if i'm not um if i get my cup over there in the corner sorry guys i just look tiny so anyways i'm i like when i get stressed out i stop eating so i have to put things in place to make my make me hungry so i will have to eat so the apple cider vinegar does that and the mecca root this also help with like um just general balancing like harm like your hormones and so for most of us a lot of stuff that be wrong have a lot to do with like hormonal imbalance and so this helps with that um yeah so y'all can do some more research on this it's good i got this from walmart it was like the first product i got it was a different brand and it was at walmart but i guess walmart um Green Valley got hip to the game and put their version out. So now it's five dollars instead of twelve. Cause the other bottle I bought was twelve and it had a hundred capsules in it. So this one is five and it's got ninety. And yeah, so this like it will definitely increase your metabolism if that's what you want it to do. Yeah, my eyes are burning. <laughs> Ooh, my eyes are burning. They red too, y'all. So yeah, I just got myself. I'm gonna probably eat that because. I was hungry earlier, then I had to, and then I wasn't hungry, but I knew I needed to eat more because I, like I say, I've been on the road and I haven't really been eating like I supposed to. Um, and then I forgot all my towels, y'all, like except for my face cloths. I forgot to bring my stinking towels. So I'll have to go buy towels because, yeah, that's what happened. But my mom is at home with the, at my house. So I might insert a clip. I don't know. I'm gonna post it later because I don't want to edit this video. I ain't gonna even lie, y'all. So I'll post it. I look a hot mess. I need to do something with this head. Like I need to just. I worry about it. I'll do it in the shower. I need to wash it and it's just got a whole lot going on. But um, so yeah, I went to work today. I did all my orientation stuff. Um, so I got my badge. I'll be working. Or at least in the OR orientate, orienting. I don't know what ship I'll be working. They did tell me it was a 6.30 to 2 shift. A 2.30 shift. So it's like that morning shift. A 9 o'clock shift. A 12.30 shift. And a 3 something shift 3 30 shift something like that so because i'm the traveler i'm the floater <laughs> and so hopefully you know it'll be fine i'm sure it'll be fine because it's only six months i mean really what's gonna how much are we gonna do but the people are nice this is a small little cute town you guys like it's like a picture out of a book like i'm telling you it's just so the color is like, it's really colorful here. Like, it's not like green everywhere. Like, how I guess, but like, everything is just green. Like, here it's like colors. The trees turn different colors. It's different kinds of trees. Like, I see a palm tree, a pine tree, a, one of those Christmas trees. I don't know what they're called. Then another kind of tree. Like, all within like the same little like thing like they was like partners like hanging out together like i just thought that was so cool and then this house i just found this out today too you guys she got a whole grapefruit tree in the backyard you know you're gonna have it and in the front i don't know what this little food is and i'm gonna ask 
much in our company right now, so I'm not gonna answer it now. But it's they it's citrus. <clears throat> it's citrus. Cause when it, I don't I'm gonna have to show y'all a picture of it, but it's citrus, it's small like a little I thought it was a date at first or like a um Chinese plum, but it's not. It's got a skin on it and it's super bitter. It's bitter bitter. It's real good. And so it was like biting that to a lemon, but I had to have I had to try it. It was really good. And then I sent the great And I was like, look at what the university doing, God, whoever y'all are like. Yep. So I got another story for y'all too, but I don't want to tell it like cause. I've been feeling lately like if you spill too much of yourself, not not the whole bedroom, y'all, but if you like say certain things, you know, you open certain <laughs> portals and negativity or doubt or whatever might see the So I just I'm learning to not say so much like when it comes to telling like what you got going on or what the plans is. But when I tell y'all like my whole way here, I know it wouldn't be like your girl would have been home a long time ago. A long time ago. A long time ago. Texas. I was ready to fly home and leave the truck there. <laughs> I was ready to go home. It's like, nah, I'm not driving 24 more hours. <laughs> this is ridiculous. But I just knew I was on a journey. I just kept thinking like, now you on the journey. Like, you on a whole journey right now. Like, a whole adventure. Like, why would you go back? Cause you know it's you comfortable in that. Uh -oh. You comfortable over there. Ain't no sense in being fan uh, getting brainy. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, you don't have to be that comfortable. You don't need to be. And then this room, like this room is pretty. It's it be cold in here though. But that's because I brought my blankets. I'm trying to adjust the camera. Okay, so I got my blankets. My blanket. That's my other blanket that my mama had crocheted for me over there. And I got my pillows. But she had this blanket on here. So I just laid on top of that last night. Uh, I bought some sheets from Walmart. So I will be changing those. Um, but I don't know who. Because I got to get some more stuff. I need to get those. I guess. A couple. I definitely need some towels. And I Like I want a caddy, like a, a, ba a shower caddy. So yeah, we might hit a we might hit a um, family dollar. I seen a Dollar Tree, but I don't remember where I seen it. So it's oh, but I know where Walmart is. So yeah, I guess I can show y'all. Let me think. What else can I tell y'all? I really did. That's it. Like. I don't really have in that because I'm just getting into it. So tomorrow will be my first day. But just so far the experience I've been having is real it's real dope. So I'ma make the video this weekend of like what clips I got from when I was coming. Cause I was trying a little bit, y'all, but I wasn't really focused on recording <laughs> too much because I was nervous. I was like doubtful i had all kind of anxiety going on i was like freaking out you guys i like, really like what are you doing <laughs> that's real like i'm laughing but if you do go on the travel assignment like go go like don't because it's easy to just be like i ain't gonna do it you know it would have been so easy for me to go home and my mama wouldn't, like, my people wouldn't have said nothing. They were just like, all right, cool. That was a long day trip anyway. Sorry for cutting. But I just kept feeling like you got to do something drastic. Like, just go. Like, just, if you want results, just go. Like, stop what, like, if you hungry, you go eat. The only way you know how to eat is, like, if you was in a while, like, I'm, I was talking to my homegirl, not to be jumping so this, but I was talking to my homegirl, and we really was talking about, like, we need to take cues and, like, be more, like, <laughs> this gonna sound crazy, animals, though, like, think about it. An animal, when an animal hungry, 
they will bite your ass like you could done. Like if they stronger than you, you know, more powerful, faster, whatever the case is, you're out of here. We are humans. We should, we are at the top of the food chain. At least I think we are. And we very close and we not at the top. Like we close up there. And so we get real complacent and chill with ourselves. We get comfortable. If it's we be too comfortable. And so when you get comfortable, it's so uncomfortable to get out of that zone, you guys. Like I knew I could have went to the house and then plant in my car and you know, just waiting for the rain to come doing something that um at home working from home which i'm gonna go back to doing it like working from home even if i have to like take a call center customer service job when i go back i probably won't be like scrubbing like i'm not and i'm probably not gonna be working immediately like i'm trying to set some stuff up that's why i came i kind of came to like get my mind right a little bit you know and work and like take care of some other stuff so i got some things in play while i'm here i'm gonna use this i don't know if y'all can see this and i don't think i've talked about this yet. this is a lot of attraction planner if y'all don't know about it um so i just got it this is the undated version one i'll do a review about it um in a little bit but just to give y'all an idea it's a life planner and it just kind of helps you get on track with some things that you need to take care of and so every month you can just go and hold on and see if i can find a month with you okay so every month you can, oh, there we go. can y'all see that okay every month you can go in and fill in the um areas you need to and you get a you got a goal you get a reward you know, feel good intentions. Like it just kind of help you stay focused, and then steps to take. You know, to make us to to do these things. Like these are your goals, and then this is your action. This is just for like notes and stuff. And then you can go to the, the days and do the time. Like it'll give you each time. And then I think it starts at five and it ends at ten thirty. So that's pretty good. Personal to-do list. And then a positive behavior marker. And then it's like gratitude, love, meditate, exercise, and whatever else you want to put it down there. And then at the end of the month, I'm not going to make this all about this. I'm, and I'm not editing this video, so I'm sorry if you don't want to hear this. Um, but at the end of the month, for those who do want to hear it. Actually, I'm not sorry if you don't want to hear it. And I'm not saying that to be funny to nobody, but I done got some comments and I was just like, girl, and whoever else. But at the end of the month, you can reflect and, you know, check out what you did. If you didn't do, then this is where you kind of have to hold yourself accountable and look in the mirror. And then on the last page, it'll give you some notes and stuff that you can write. So probably like as you reflect and you can come over here and like write some notes out or whatever. Also, it came with, for those who like to plan, like you real super planners, I'm not like a decorative planner, but it came with a whole bunch of cute little stickers. I like these, these white and gold, I'm grateful. I had to remind myself of that this the whole way here, you guys. <clears throat> so, um, oh, look at that one, never give up. If it's a glare on it, but these all came with the um, it's a little pocket in the back, y'all. Look, it's a little pocket. I'll do a better review. And this is not a review of this blunt binder, but um, so yeah, I'll be using this to kind of help me, you know, get my mind right. But I have a plan, that's why I came and. Hopefully when I get home, I don't have to like really go to work for nobody. I can just keep doing what I'm doing. Like if I want to pick up a contract, I can pick up a contract. I can do here when I want to. Like I even sent out a beacon. I dropped a geofence around my location. Hopefully um, I can get to do somebody here while I'm here so I can make some cash. Cause you be like that. I won't say money, but cause I ain't really promoting too much of Cardi B these days, but. <sighs> I do like that word. <laughs> so, yeah, I um, 
I dropped a beacon. That's just something I'm playing with. I dropped it around my where I'm at, and that's for like natural hairstyling braids, sew-ins, and stuff like that. So we'll see if somebody hit me up. If not, I might reach out to a salon and go, you know, offer my services there just to get some cash. Like I want some cash money. So I'm out here to make money. Period. Period. <laughs> so we'll see. Um, but I was missing my baby, you guys. Like I ain't even lying. So you might go through some emotions. Don't be surprised. Like, don't be surprised if you get every emotion you could think of. Like happy, sad, scared, emotional. Like, it, well, that is emotional, ain't it? Like, <laughs> so you just gonna be like, or I was. I was completely like. Maybe this ain't really worth it, you know. But I ended up talking myself through it. I got here, and then I had to talk myself into coming to this lady house. And it's cool though. She um she's from Peru. Like I said, she's the older lady. She's probably my mama age, maybe older. Um, and then there's another lady that's here. She used to be a pastry. She said she said that she's a retired pastry chef. So y'all know how I like to eat, right? Except for when I'm stressed. The pastries are just, oh, I can love me. Oh, I love sweets. I love anything with sugar in it. Honey, I bought me some Nutella. I got some Nutella over there. So, yeah, I'm just gonna, uh, I'm probably gonna go, you guys, this video is super long. My eyes burn like crazy. My eyes is burning. I gotta be to work at 6.30. My body just feels tired. So that's another thing. Like I just I feel I'm tired. So I wouldn't necessarily say not to take the drive. Cause it wasn't all that bad. What I would say is give yourself more time than you think you're gonna need. If you think you need five days, give yourself seven. That's just what I'm that's just my thought. Like and then, too, you got to take into consideration of, sorry for digging out. Anyways, I, um, yeah, I would just take into consideration that it's going to take longer than what you can even possibly consider it's going to take. Whatever you think it's going to take, it's going to take way longer than that. But, and it's not like, it might not be your fault. Like, that's what I was trying to say. It might be some random stuff that happened on the highway. Like, I've seen two. I've seen two. I bought my chopstick, but I don't know why I put it up. I've seen two accidents. Two with semis in a car, like so, it's real out there. And I just didn't play with trying to like partially be thinking I'm awake and I might be asleep. I don't like driving in unknown areas at nighttime. Um, so when it got dark, like, and I mean dark, dark, like nine o'clock, then I was done. Like that was it. I'm not driving past that, and I would get up around six or seven depending on what time zone you're in <laughs> and then just drive till I needed some gas and then I or eat I would try to wait to eat until I got gas and then I would just take a little like bathroom break um I got a I drank a couple Red Bulls I know that I drank Red Bulls but I drank them and I don't think it really helped <laughs> they taste good though so but anyways, you guys, I'm going to go because I want to eat, uh, eat these tacos and I'm super tired. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching the video. I Let me just show y'all the room real quick. So I'm going to flip the camera around, but this is me saying goodnight. See y'all in a couple of days. Maybe I will post something. I got to edit the footage that I got. So y'all will get it. All right. See y'all later.